Ô oh, mes fidèles compagnons, que j'aime plus que mes rognons, bienvenue dans le Roussillon. Dear faithful followers of Pete's Pans, whom I love even more than my own kidneys, welcome to le Roussillon, this little Mediterranean corner of southwestern France, where these lamb kidneys are getting the classical treatment today, vigorously fried and traditionally served with a Madeira sauce. Or optionally, as I'm doing today, keeping things local with this fine sweet white from these parts, le muscat. Now, before I give you the usual spin around the ingredients, I'm off for a spin around the town of Totavel, whose sign has also had a spin turned upside down in towns all over France by farmers in protest against restrictions being imposed on them. Totavel, besides these gentlemen, is also home to Totavel Man, human remains from half a million years ago found nearby. And here's a more recent image of the townsfolk. Haven't things changed? These are the lamb kidneys still encased in their hard fat or suet. This is the best way to buy them as the fat helps keep them fresh and moist. Now this particular preparation is really a variation on the old classic of kidneys with Madeira sauce. So obviously use whatever you've got, Madeira, any sweet white wine or port. These will all be delicious. Some well-reduced veal stock and shallots also for the sauce. A last minute sprinkling of parsley. And today I'm serving the kidneys with pilaf rice, ripilaf. So long grained rice, an onion, chicken stock and a bouquet garni of thyme and bay. The suet's easily peeled off by hand, and the very fine inner membrane is also removed. And each kidney is halved. Now prior to cooking the kidneys, let's make the pilaf rice. Onion is gently sweated in butter till soft, no coloration. The rice is added and stirred around for a couple of minutes. Then boiling stock and herbs. This gives me about 15 minutes to read up on local cookery and wines from the Roussillon area. And once the rice has absorbed all the liquid, it should be ready. So keep the rice warm and assemble the mise en place for the kidneys. Using butter and oil, saute them vigorously over a strong heat, seasoning as you go. The idea is to color them nicely on the outside, but the inside should remain pink, rosé. This shouldn't take more than about three minutes. Set them aside for a minute as you prepare the sauce. Wipe out the pan with paper towels and add fresh butter and oil. And gently sweat the shallot with salt and pepper. Once soft, the kidneys will have released quite a lot of juice and this is reduced down till lightly caramelized and dry. The pan is deglazed with the wine, reduced by half, and stock added, and allowed to cook down steadily until almost a sauce consistency. A knob of butter is mixed into the rice with a fork, separating the grains and fluffing it up as well. Now over a very low heat, the kidneys are returned to the sauce to just to gently warm them through without the sauce returning to a boil at this stage. A knob of cold butter is then swirled in, a technique called monte au beurre, to mount with butter, adding shine and a lovely viscosity. Again, it's crucial not to let the sauce boil at this point. Chopped parsley, 
And finally, chef's secret, a last minute drop of wine to elevate the flavor, bringing the Mushka or Madeira sauce to absolute perfection. Wish you were here and all that, because this is really far too good to be eating alone. Anyway, there's plenty more to cook here in the lovely Roussillon, so you'll know where to find me. In the meantime, bon appétit et large soif.